Another issue that we're hearing more and more growers talk about and concerns about is wireworms, and particularly in cereals, but it can affect other crops as well. Uh, your lentils, potatoes, sugar beets, uh, sunflowers. Uh, but right now, today, the cereal seems to be the, the major concern. And if we look historically in Canada, there was a lot of research done on wireworms back in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s. And there was amazing research also done on the biology of the wireworms. So we know a lot about wireworms. It's something that's not new to the prairies. So why are we seeing more wireworms in cereal fields? You know, one of the things about this particular pest, it's got a very long life cycle. Uh, the larvae stage uh, can be for five to, to seven years. And when we look at the, the length of time before it pupates and emerges the click beetles, and by the time they lay their eggs again, uh, it can be a five to 10 years before you start to see this buildup. And what we're seeing in commercial fields today is some initial damage. Uh, some growers are seeing that there's missing rows, missing plant stand. Uh, but as time goes on, we're seeing more and more of that. Uh, the other thing with wireworms is that there can be multiple cycles in the field. For example, uh, you can have wireworms that are ready to pupate. And two years ago, you could have had wireworms that just laid their eggs. So you get multiple generations in the field. Uh, the other thing that, that can impact the crop is the species. And we've identified three different species that are probably the most important in Western Canada. And these different species, each one can do a little bit more damage or less damage. Uh, what's really important here is that by identifying the species, you can sort of gauge as to what the potential risk will be on your field. So we've talked a little bit about the biology of the, the wireworm, how it impacts the stand establishment and yield. So what are some of the solutions that growers can use today to protect that crop? Syngenta has a product called Cruiser Vibrance Quattril that has the, uh, a good fungicide package, but also has um, the insecticide for protection against wireworms. Uh, the nice thing about Cruiser Vibrance Quattro, it is a pre-mixed formulation. You don't have to add or mix anything together. Uh, it's a ready to apply and it's registered for both on-farm use as well as commercial seed treatments.